Hi. Hi, your son. Let's talk about the planets. Specifically Saturn being retrograde in the sign of Pisces. Now this is this has been happening. Okay, Saturn has been retrograde in the sign of Pisces since the end of June, June 17th to be specific. But I wanted us to be settled into the energy that way. These messages that I pull, most of us is already most of us have already been experiencing, okay, feeling, right? But you could have Sun or Saturn in an air sign or one of the air sign houses, second, nah, scratch that, third, seventh, and the eleventh. Check your chart. By the way, thank you to everybody that's been booking with the birth chart readings. Y'all booking like crazy. I'm, I'm, I might gotta, you know, postpone some, some of the bookings because a lot of y'all are booking and I really appreciate it. I didn't know that many people was, you know, interested in Terra Sante in regards to things like that. But I really appreciate the uh, the ones that's been booking. Okay, even if you just watch these What's Up With The Planets readings, girl, you know, thank you, okay? Fellow astrologers, okay? So, um, if you are interested in booking any of my readings, all the pricing and contact information is in the description box down below. All the info will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. Like, please. Subscribe, please. I would appreciate that. Now, we're going to pull one monthly Oracle message card to see what your overall energy is going to be with this coming transit. Um, well, we're already in it, girl. And then we're going to do a spread. So, I was about to give y'all a quick shuffle in Miss Store or Mrs. Interessante flew out the fool card, okay? Now, some of y'all, this is already you. Ain't nobody moving like you. Ain't nobody walking like you. Ain't nobody talking like you. It is your season. The fool is, I think, Aquarius energy. So, Aqua, this could be most definitely going for you the most, all right? But some of y'all really are like, you know, I'm just living life right now. I'm um, open to new things. I'm in a new season to where I feel like I'm just experiencing so many different things. I'm having so many new um, challenges or, like I said, experiences. I like it for you, girl. I'm getting chills, goosebumps every time. I need the Heimlich, okay? Um, or some of y'all are being urged to be in this energy. You want to break free, so do it, okay? I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, so do it, all right? Let's do the monthly Oracle message card first. So, hey guys, how is the Saturn retrograde in the... Hold up. How is the Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs? June 17th until November. Booty up. November 3rd in the year 2023. Now, remember, did I say this? You can have Sun or Saturn in the air sign? I did. I did. I did. I remember. Okay. I'm done. What you done with, honey? Blessings on blessings on blessings. Anything that is getting away of your abundance. Some of y'all are calling it a quiz with anything or anybody that, like I said, is getting in the way of your winning season. Excuse me. Or you're being called to, right? Now, a little bit of background. With Saturn retrograde, y'all know I be posting about, you know, the planets and on my social media all the time. But Saturn retrograde in Pisces is going to pull the veil off of things. Um, it's okay to be idealistic, which is what Pisces uh, energy always brings. But you also need to be practical about things. You can't just jump head in first and, you know, uh, hopeful wishes, you know, hopeful thinking. Okay, it's like, you know, be smart and strategic about the things that you're being idealistic about. If you want to start a business, that's cool. But we need something funding the business. All right. Um, you know, you, you need to work. You need a job. All right. If you want to be comfortable, you know. Um, yeah, if you want to pursue any sort of venture or anything, that's fine. We're not telling you not to pursue your dreams. But you also need to have um, practical matters taken care of. I'm not going to say what's coming to mind. I'm going to say it. I'm just not going to say the details. This for me is you want to pursue a certain dream of yours, no matter what it be. But you're spending all your time pursuing this, but you're not spending any amount of time in establishing stability for yourself. So whether this be, you know, um, establishing income for yourself, having stable income for yourself, um, taking care of your living situation, trying to establish certain living situation for yourself. You know, the food card, um, I wish 
it's gonna take too long for me to pull this card out about but in this deck girl he has no shoes on um he has a stick in a bag you know he probably hopping trains that's fine if you want to live a hippie lifestyle but you're gonna eat eat and dress and smell like a hippie as well okay it's like it's okay for you not to want to be a part of the program that's fine it's okay for you not to want to be a part of the program but you know if you want certain comforts out of life you still gotta you know take care of practical matters let's say that okay i'm so fucking sick of my hair i'm ready to take this out but i gotta know what i'm putting in next before i take it out and it's too hot to have my fro out. It's too hot, okay? Here, guys, how is this Saturn retrograde in Pisces affecting all air signs June 17th until November 3rd in the year 2023? Six of Swords, Aqua. Hello, with the Ace of Wands. So, Aquarius specifically, but air signs, I do see a lot of you guys um, moving on to a new chapter, whether this is currently happening or you want to do this. Now, some of y'all are already in the midst of this. This for me is like, you know, you want to quit a certain job. You know, you want to move or relocate. You know, you want to um, move to the next step in regards to a certain um, pursuit of yours. Okay. Mm hmm. I like it. That's crazy. Yeah, I see something here is more than capable of happening and or manifesting for you, air signs. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Sun card. Some of y'all are already in this space, you know, um, but because you, girl, I did not just stutter. Because you decided to move on from something, leave something alone, make a certain transition happen, you already see um, how this was great. For you okay things have been great ever since right some of y'all are scared too that's okay um nine of swords and the seven of wands some of y'all are too scared too so you keep yourself from making these moves happen but with the tower card where you're at currently and some of y'all this is a living situation four wands and the tower card where you're at currently is there's not going to be too much left all right. If you decide to stay uh, in this situation, in this place, in this city, in this state, in this circumstance, there's not going to be too much left if you keep uh, staying here just because you're scared to move on. All right. Tower and the four wands. Like I said, some of y'all, you need to start planning a relocation if you haven't already. All right. Some of y'all have already done this. Yeah, I'm seeing that some of y'all either got to leave like a house. I don't know why, girl. Maybe the community bad. Maybe the rent increase is crazy. Okay. Um, maybe you, um, your mortgage is crazy, girl. I don't know. Okay. Just with the tower card and the four wands. Some of y'all, there's a certain living situation here that I feel like just isn't, it isn't the bee's knees anymore. Uh, who's out here? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right. And I feel like it could be time for you to know, change clothes. It could be time for you to change chapters. Uh, some of y'all do need new clothes. Whether they be you're outgrowing certain things, okay? Or, you know, 2008 fashions shouldn't still be being worn. Not because, you know, things are, you know, outdated, but yes. Um, unless it's vintage, girl, okay? But that shit don't, it probably don't fit. Probably got a lot of wear and tear. Spirit guys, what's going on? How's the Saturn retrograde and sign of Pisces affecting all air signs? June 17th. Nah, booyah, until November 3rd in the year 2023. Three of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Damn, your girl silence keeps calling me. Um, Air signs, a lot of y'all have been on D&D, &D, very much do not disturb. You haven't been talking to a lot of friends, a lot of family, a lot of folks. Um, some of y'all with the Ten of Wands, you got a lot going on right now. Um, a lot on your plate, whether it be financially, emotionally, physically. Oh, that scared me. I don't know what I thought was happening just now, girl. I just saw flames happening on the TV. I was like, hey. That scared the fuck out of me. Y'all saw that. That was that was candy camera, bitch, okay? Like flat for my eyes. Uh, but some of y'all, I feel like, haven't been um, as social as you usually are. You ain't been out and about as you usually are. Because like I said, with the Ten of Wands, you got to lie on your plate during this time. With what? Nine of Wands, things that you're trying to pursue yourself eight of swords 
Um, some of y'all are trying to figure out what direction you about to move in regarding life. Um, Hierophant, some people, this is because, um, you know, they're going through things uh, regarding their current relationship. I'm not saying that you want to break up with your mans or your shorty. I'm not saying that that's the case for everybody. Um, but maybe, you know, um, this is that whole for better or worse type thing. Whenever you're like married to someone, it's like maybe the person that you're with is dealing with some sort of illness. Um, maybe they, you know, suffer the job loss. Maybe you suffer the job loss. Maybe, you know, you're trying to figure out things financially between you guys. All right. It ain't, I, it ain't gotta be separation. It ain't gotta be separation for everybody, but some of y'all is just, you know, going through things in your personal life. So with the six of swords and the three of cups, the outside world gotta, you know, hold on for it, baby. You will be back in the fall. Okay. When the weather is a lot more welcoming. It's so fucking hot. So you guys. How is this Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces going to affect all air signs June 17th until November? Oh, okay. The lovers. Damn. Well, girl, I wasn't saying ain't no separation out here, but this is crazy. The lovers at 11 11 with the Eight of Cups showing up on the bottom of the deck. Whether it be uh, friend relationships or love, romantic relationships with the Six of Swords, some of y'all have moved on from certain connections with um individuals and some of y'all are realizing that you need to um eight of cups are showing up on the bottom of the deck on the bottom of the deck eight minus three equals five of cups this to me is feeling like you're not it's like why am i still friends with this person if i feel as though we don't connect you know i feel as though this person what do you feel like this for me is you know you don't have the same interests which I don't really feel like every you need to like the same thing that your bestie likes, okay? But it's like, we need to be ha able to have some conversations. You know, you not look at me funny or I not look at you funny. And you, you need to be able to meet somewhere, right? Uh, some of y'all, this is love connections. Moving on from certain love connections or needing to because with the three of cups, you know, somebody here going to always be about the bitches. Mr. Bitches or Mrs. Bitches. I don't know, okay? Uh, three of cousins, eight of cousins, somebody here that's more concerned with um, seeking validation from the outside world. Or this is somebody here that I feel like doesn't really know how to be committed. Now, air signs, this could be someone here that you have dealt with, you are dealing with, or this is an air sign. You're wrong. Well, I can't really say you're wrong. I just don't feel like you should leave somebody on. If you want to be single, be single. Okay, don't be like, you know, I want to be a man, I want to be a husband. I want to be a, um, a boyfriend. I also want to be a bachelor. A uh, pick, okay? You got to pick. Or well, ladies, I want to be a wife. I want to be a girlfriend. But I also want to be, I'm going to just say a bachelorette. <laughs> I'm going to just say a bachelorette. You can't be all three. I mean, you can. You can um, encompass all different traits and characteristics that come from all those things. Right, but nine times out of ten, you're not gonna meet your man in the club, okay? Or you're not gonna meet someone that I feel like is of substance, okay? You're not gonna meet somebody somebody that's of substance if three because you met them in a questionable environment, okay? Sometimes you know the universe throws you a bone, it can happen, okay? But most of the time it's not. Excuse me, most of the time it's not, okay? You can't expect to have a happy relationship with somebody that was fucking on your friend two months ago. What? Like, come on. Finders keepers that belong to that person. Okay? Well, not belong, but it's like, come on. Like, I got to explain these things to you, right? So, you guys, how is this Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs June 17th until November? Okay. King of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Okay, real quick, air signs. There is someone here that I feel like you could be no contact with. Heavy on the water, heavy on the water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Five of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Either this person just, you can't deal with the theatrics or the drama that this person brings or the emotional turbulence that this person has. 
Um, so with the six of swords and the air signs, you know how you is. Like, mm -mm, girl, I, I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> you're like, you're not a fan of that. Or you just feel like somebody here is not taking you seriously. With the six of swords, you could have decided to move on from this person. Or you could be realizing that it is time for you to move on from this person. Like I said, this is someone here that they rather have everybody than no one. It's like this person here doesn't really know how to be by themselves. They um, like to keep anybody around them. Ew. Uh, they like to keep anybody around them. But I really feel like they don't feel comfortable by themselves. Page of Cups. They kind of feel like a, um, a little bit of an outcast. Um, so, like I said, they kind of keep any and everybody around them. Because, like I said, I don't think they're comfortable with themselves. You know? Um, so, they like to be able to blend in. And air signs, make sure this isn't true. Okay, girl, if you're a weirdo, be a weirdo. People like weirdos. All right? <laughs> People like weirdos, bro. Be okay with being, you know, not status quo. Right? Don't be so quick to want to seek validation from others. So much so that you kind of um, alter who you truly is. Okay? And like I said, some of y'all will have, you know, decided to stop contacting someone or move on from someone that was like that. Heavy on the water. So, here you guys, how is this Saturn retrograde and the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs? June 17th until November 3rd in the year 2023. Ten of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. family friends lovers um air signs it looks like this saturn retrograde has been affecting or will be affecting your relationships with others and with the six of swords being your first card saturn is going to be asking you are you who are you going to be moving on from who are you going to be moving on from three of wands okay not because we want you to be a lonely bitch okay not because we want you to just be lonely okay but because the things that you want out of life might cause you to separate from others to where your visions and ideas don't really line up with one another. And that's fine. You know, we're not asking everybody, you know, fall in line. But you, sometimes you grow apart. Sometimes, you know, people don't follow you or stay on the journey with you the entire time. Get that out of here. So, like I said, there will be certain uh, connections and relationships affected um, regarding friends, families, and lovers. To where it's like with the Six of Swords, you just kind of move on from. So, here, guys, how is this Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs June 17th until November 3rd in the year 20? Oh, okay. The sun will come out. The sun with the five of cups. Yeah. You are being enlightened in regards to a lot of things that are like that. Um, air signs. Like I said, some of y'all are already in this energy. A uh, fool card. You don't really care how you look to other people. You're just going to do you. Okay. And with the sun card, you've never been happier. Okay. You've never been happier. You've never been happier, but someone outside you is not happy about that. It's like you found your voice. You found what you want to like. You found your identity. And I think there was someone here. Well, not think I see it. There's someone here outside your energy that with the Five of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Emperor card is either upset with that because now with the Emperor, they feel like they can't manage you. Unfortunately, the Emperor, while I like his or her, but his, I like their energy, the Emperor, but they tend to like to control. They like to be able to control others. They like to have minions, Okay. If they're not in tune with themselves, but this emperor is showing up with the three of swords and the five of cups. So this is definitely someone here that's capable of being in their divine energy with the five of cups and the three of swords is what happens whenever you carry pain, uh, trauma, regret, shame, embarrassment, and you don't address it. You just let it, you know, fester and manifest. So now you only keep people around you that with the emperor card, you can easily manipulate easily control you don't really get a lot of pushback or held accountable for a lot of things uh oh we're spitting bars okay like i said they could be uh either this is air signs this is you or 
air sign, somebody here has realized this about you. And they don't like the fact that, you know, you, you're not underneath their spell anymore, okay? You're not just believing what they tell you at face value. Like, not girl, explain it to me, all right? You ain't gonna just tell me, you know, the sky is purple and I'm not gonna ask for no facts, you know? Um, some of y'all, this is the case with the fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. A little bit of earth is out here, but I only see Virgo strong. Or there's air signs out, out here that are like this. Hold up. Hold up, girl. Ah, my titties. Here, right, guys. How's this Saturn retrograde the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs? June 17th until November 3rd in the year 2023. Nine of Pentacles. I N D E P E N D E N T. Some of y'all are lover boys or lover girls. It's okay. But I feel like with the Six of Swords, not a lot of people know this about you. Um, just because... I wouldn't say you're scared to let people know that side of you. But you have to be very comfortable with an individual in order to open up to them like that, to show that side of you being that lover boy, your lover girl, just someone that's very caring, okay? But you have discernment, strength card, and the judgment. It's like you don't um, give everybody access to that side of you because not everybody is your friend. Not everybody wants the best for you. Not everybody is, you know, good for you. So you tend to kind of, present this standoffish energy to where like you're what's what's the, what's the analogy just because you're friendly don't mean that you're nice just because you're nice don't mean that you're friendly yeah five of swords and a hermit you don't you don't, you don't really like to be around people that tend to gossip a lot you don't tend to uh you don't want to be around people to where it's like you know this motherfucker don't really want the best for you but they're gonna stay around you because they benefit off of you in some way It's like, you are not the individual that's going to say, I'd rather have anybody than nobody. You are not, you will never adhere to that statement. Girl, fuck that. What came out of the beginning of reading? The food card, girl. I'll rock this shit by myself before I ever live that sort of life, okay? And like I said, there are some air signs out here that, you know, um, I got the biggest dick. You know, there are some air signs out here that, you ever know them? Have you ever ran across some people that always, you know, um, they're always around people. They're always hang out with a new group of people. The motherfuckers that stay on the phone. They always talking to somebody on the phone. Like, it's real weird to me. Unless you in marketing or something like that or it's for your job. It's like, you're always on the phone with somebody. That's really weird to me. It's, it, it's like they're like that because they're scared of being alone. They're scared of being alone. They're scared to, you know, just be by themselves. So they they try to keep people around them at all times. And it could be anybody. So here guys, how is this Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs? June 17th until November 3rd in the year 2023. King of Swords. I'm in with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, girl, niggas gonna come and go, air sign, men specifically. Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. And it don't just stop at friends. It goes for family, too. Knight of Swords. I just feel like you need to be careful about being open to any and any, any type of energy. Okay? Be, be discerning. Be selective about the people that you allow around you, that you open your world up to. Because I'm telling you, Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, you will run across people that's just, you know, looking for a come up. Um, that, you know, aren't really there for you like how you are for them. Or because, you know, you're not happy with your current state of life. You tend to keep people around you that can distract you from um, that very thing that you're trying to ignore. Listen, girl, I got you on the chair. Don't get mad, okay? Divine Feminine. 
Of course, you got a lot of candidates. I don't really see any issue there. I don't see you having an issue attracting people with the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. They're usually just looking for a fun time, a little bit of uh, a little bit of butt, a little bit of vagina, okay? Man, I feel like the same thing can go for you. That's not enough for you, though, okay? Yes, girl, I wake up to me every day. I know I'm cute, I know I'm sexy, I know I'm attractive, okay? But what else, all right? Six of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Can you be consistent? Do you care about who I am as a person? Do you care about my interests, my values? Now, of course, air signs make sure that what you're asking for, you are able to provide, okay? Do you do this with people, you know? Um, who had this? Who had this? Who had this? Water signs. To where it's like, you know, they have a type. Water signs have a type, you know. But sometimes they type ain't really good for them. You know what I'm saying? So air signs, you need to be careful about this being you. You know, you like the niggas with the, with the big chest and the big back, okay? But usually with the three of cups, they doing it for the hoes. Now, <laughs> they doing it for the hoes, bitch. Okay, but now it's like... Y'all met them, 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 uh, I was about to say something crazy. Them Jim Jimmies, okay? Ain't nothing wrong being in the gym 24-7. I'm in the gym. Not 24-7, girl, but I'm in the gym, okay? But there's nothing wrong with wanting to have a nice physique, but it's like people being so focused on, you know, looking good aesthetically, but their personality is trash. Their personality is trash. And because they're used to people being so attracted to them physically, they don't really have to do much. You know, people are just going to want to be around them because they look good. Air signs, you need to be careful about this being you. Okay, or you entertaining people that's like that. So, you guys, how is this Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces affecting all air signs June 17th until November 3rd in the year 2023? Last card. Oh, shit. Nine of Swords with the Five of Cups. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I do see some air signs here are scared to, like, truly be on their own. I'm not saying not had no friends, no family around them. It's like some air signs are scared to be independent. They want to keep themselves attached to people, friends, family, because they're scared of being independent. Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. I'm going to be honest with you. With the Five of Cups, they know they can't do it. You know, they can't do it. So they stay in relationships that they're not really happy in. They stay surrounded by people that they don't really fuck with like that. Okay? They stay up, up they stay up underneath family because you know, girl, who else gonna take me in? The air signs that are exhibiting this behavior. They look like everybody. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Air signs, please don't let this be you. I don't want to be talking shit about you when you're reading. That's crazy, okay? Or air signs, you need to be careful about individuals that's like this. Some of y'all with the Six of Swords, you moved on from people that was like this. You know, um, you, uh, oh, girl, I don't want y'all to get into my personal life like that. Um, but there has definitely been people that I have let go of, that I had mad love for, I would have done anything for. Um, but I realized that they was more interested in the benefits of my presence versus just me, you know? Um, and I can't have nobody around me like that. I can't, I can't stand it. You know, like once I, once I realized that energy about you, I can't ignore it, you know? So we might fall out and I might still, you know, want things to work out between us, but that don't mean I'm a, you know, that don't mean I'm pursue it. Because once I know that you are a hater, okay, once I know that you are secretly a hater or you don't really give a fuck about me, you just like um, what comes with being around me. I don't want you around me, bro. I'm not the bank. I'm not the ATM. I'm not the therapist just for you. I can't be that for you, all right? But I'm not just here just for that, okay? If this is a transactional relationship, let me know. I won't be around. <laughs> you let me know that though. All right. All right, air signs. This was your Saturn retrograde in the sign of Pisces reading. You could have Sun or Saturn in an air sign or one of the air sign houses. And some messages in here will definitely resonate with you. Like, subscribe, book if you're interested. I don't ever want to tell you what to do. Okay, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.